guys, um, today I'll be doing this natural makeup look. It was actually requested by one of my subscribers. I'm sorry I forgot who requested it, but um, I'll be doing this look. Let me get closer so you can take a look. It's a very pretty natural look. Um, and also, when I was recording my video, the micro microphone level was so messed up and so low that you have to turn your volume all the way up to be able to hear me. So I'm sorry for that. I'm still trying to work on um, fixing my laptop and all the settings and everything so everything could be perfect and clear. So if you want to get this look, just keep watching. Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I also put the MAC Pink Pot and Soft Ochre on and I also put concealer under my eyes and then you're gonna um, pick up a shader brush and you're gonna pick up the eyeshadow in vanilla it's right here and that's gonna serve as your highlight so you're gonna put that all over your lid and up to your brow bone Okay, so it should look something like that. And then you're just going to take um, another eyeshadow brush or eyeshadow brush and pick up nylon. This is going to serve as your lid color. Um, you could use nylon or you could use rice paper because they're kind of like similar. But I'm going to use nylon because it, se it tends to be a little bit more shimmery. So you're just going to put that all over your lid. Okay, so after you have that done, you're going to take, you could use the same eyeshadow brush or a different eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to be using the 239 from MAC, and you're going to pick up the color Honesty, and you're going to put that in the inner portion of your eye, just gives a little bit of color. Okay, so after you have that done, you're going to pick up the 219 brush, or a pencil brush that looks like this, and you're going to pick up the color um, cork, and cork looks like this right here, and you're going to draw what you want on your outer portion of your eye, I'm going to do it round first, and then angle it out like always. like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend it out. And then you're just going to pick up maybe a fluffy brush or a messed up eyeshadow brush and I'm using the Sonia Cashew one. You're going to pick up cork again and just go over the shape that you drew on your outer portion of your eye. And then you're just going to pick up a blending brush. I'm going to use the 217 from MAC blending brush that looks like this and just blend that outer portion color out towards that your outer portion so it should look something like that and then you're just going to take um, an angle brush I'm using the 275 from MAC and make your outer V Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then, um, I'm, instead of lining black under the waterline, I'm going to use white because it's more natural look. So I'm going to use the Sephora um, white liner pencil. I'm going to put 
put that under my lower lash line, or on my lower lash line. So you're supposed to come in like that, and then you're going to set it, set that white color so it doesn't go anywhere during the day. And I'm just going to pick up this white color gesso from MAC right here, the MAC white, and just take an angle brush and go right on top, or pat that color right on top, and then you put on your lower lash line. So look at that color, because it stays there all day long. Okay, and then you're just going to take like a black cold pencil and then just engrave some mag and just find your upper lash line or water line with this. By doing this, it makes your eyelashes appear longer, but I don't have any eyelashes, so I'm always using false lashes. Okay, so now you're going to align your water line your upper water line with um, a black liner. Um, when you use a liquid liner, it tends to be more dramatic. If you want it to be more natural, you could use um, a gel liner. Meaning, as an example, um, Stila Smudge Pot, the black one. All you have to do is just line it with a angle brush and um, smudge it out. Or you could use Max Fluid Line black track fluid line also or you could just use a pencil brush and use a black eyeshadow and, and do it lightly on but I tend to do it with the liquid liner because I like the effect on how it looks so I'm going to be doing that and then I'm going to put my false lashes on it's the same false lashes that I use in my every other video in every other video that I make and it's the more lash number 26 and I'll be back with the final look Okay, so I'm back with the final look. Um, here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm so sorry for the mic level when I was recording. Um, I'll try to fix that as soon as possible so you guys could hear me perfect and clear in my other videos next time. So I will see you guys in another video. Bye! But you shouldn't worry about what you say